century before last, in 1899. They were an interesting business. They were called Ox Baron. You know what they did? They made wagon wheels. In a world where the only way to get around was the ox wagon, what you needed was the wagon wheel. They were really good. But here's the reason they made money. They didn't make better ox wagon wheels than their competitors. Because here's another mistake we make in business, is we think you need to outcompete your competitors at everything. And you don't. You only need to outcompete them at what matters to the customer. So we have a model we use in the office. It's called parity, parity, excellence. Parity. What are the things I'm happy to be average on? Up parity. What are the things I need to be 1% better than my competitor on? And excellence. What is the stuff that matter that I must deliver to the customer better than anybody else in the market right now? Because what that does is it focuses my resources. It focuses my capital. Now I don't need the best CRM system, the best finance system, best invoicing system, best HR system. I don't need the best best. All I need is things that work, the one thing that must deliver value. That's where I apply my capital. That's where I apply my capital. That's where I apply my capital. So how is Samsung catching up with Apple? Very simple. Samsung goes, let's let the Apple guys do the nice development and all the rest of it. We're going to apply our capital at creating innovative technologies that enable us to replicate what they've done in a very short space of time. Which means when they release a new product, we're going to apply our capital at making sure we can release something similar or parity at a much lower cost than they do. And the customer will buy it. But because we have a much larger ecosystem on Android, customers will want to join our platform, so would rather spend our money building the ecosystem rather than creating beautiful first-hand devices, even though we will. Apple says, so we're going to create devices that are intuitive, that feel good to use, but we're really going to spend our money building an ecosystem that once you join it, you can't leave. So when I give you a phone, what else do I give you? What about if you streamed music? Wait, what if you bought music? 